hopefully you have a steel mace and you want to get started. Assuming that we've already warmed up, which I'll shoot a different video for that. We're just going to talk about basics to get started and foundations of the steel mace. A lot of these come from steel mace flow and a few are going to come from traditional mace as well. So to start we want to know how to stand. So feet are under the hips, hips are under the shoulders, shoulders are down away from the ears, nice and strong. Your, quad, your knees are soft, quads are firing, ribs are knitted towards the hips, and you have a neutral pelvis. So nice and strong here. Standing structure. Okay? So returning to standing structure, that is how we stand to hold the mace. So go ahead and you're going to learn how to pick up the mace. So we're going to hold the handle in your non-dominant hand. So I write with my right hand. So I'm going to hold it in my left. I'm going to hinge at the hips and grab the mace safely. So nice hinge here. And then I'm just going to pick it up and slide it down into standing structure. Or the wrap position as I would call it. Top hand is roughly at your navel, bottom hand below, and this bottom hand can come into a slightly relaxed grip called a saber grip, and the top hand holds in a hammer grip, nice and firm. And then to set that mace down, we come up, cross body top, and then we set it down. Okay, pick it up again. So straight arm here, hinge, like you're gonna shovel, and then we pick the mace up and slide it down, nice and safe. From here, we're gonna talk about landmarks, okay? So this is called an under, over grip. So the first one we say is one next to the ball. So under, over grip, <clears throat> okay? Now to have an over, over grip for pressing, we would just flip that hand around. So this would be called an over, over grip, just like this. So landmarks one is down, two is at 90 degrees, three is right here, resting, nice straight wrist, knuckles to the sky, and then we press. That's four. So four, Three, two, 90 degrees, and then one, straight arms down. Okay? Landmarks one, two, three, and four. First move we're gonna talk about is the ballistic curl. And now we're just gonna get into a few little exercises that you can work on. So remember picking up the mace, hinge, grab the mace, Pick it up, and we're in the rack position. For the ballistic curl, we're going to start in an under over grip at cross body top, and then we're going to go to cross body bottom. This elbow comes up to the shoulder, this arm straightens. So that's cross body bottom, cross body top. And now we slide that lower hand up into a prayer switch, keeping contact the whole time. And now we're at cross body top. Switching to cross body bottom, cross body top, slide up prayer switch, cross body top, cross body bottom. Let's do it one more time. Cross body top, prayer switch. Cross body top, cross body bottom. Have a nice firm grip on that mace. Contact the whole time. So now we're gonna go into that ballistic curl. Bring it up, slide up switch, cross body top, bring it down. Now let's smooth it out. And I'm just gonna demonstrate and follow along if you can. So switch, down, switch, keeping contact the whole time. Both hands on the mace. Okay. 
and then to make it more ballistic, i.e. the ballistic curl, you give it more of a push and a push here. So push, 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 and push. Nice and smooth. Three more. Three, two, one, and done. Okay? So homework is going to be working on that ballistic curl for one. Next piece of homework we're going to talk about is the hinge and catch. So we're going to hold the mace just above this, maybe roughly above that knurling here if you've got knurling there. And then we're going to hinge and catch. A toss, hinge, catch. So it looks something like this. Toss and catch. Just find your rhythm. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Almost like the kettlebell swing. And catch. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Okay? Set it down. Shake it out. Switch hands. Okay, we're going to start with that same thing. Nice little hinge there. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. Toss and catch. One more. Toss and catch. Okay? Next step is to add a little toss across. Okay? Alternating. And it looks just like this. Let me demonstrate and then you can follow along. So, toss and catch. Toss and catch. Toss. Toss and catch. See if you can follow along now. Toss and catch. 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 Okay? Homework number two. Work on your hinge. Hinge and toss. Okay, third thing we're going to work on is the pendulum. So we're going to start in this rack position. We're going to point that top finger, that's the shoulder, we're going to slide the mace down. So from here, just let that mace slide and do a nice hang. Now you might have the the uh, urge to kind of arch here. Remember, keep those ribs knitted. This flexibility will come. Ideally, you want your hands at the nape of your neck in the back of your swing. Um, Everybody is different with their mobility when they start. You could be way up here, that's okay. But we're going, over time, that'll, that'll improve. So, we're just gonna hang here. This is a nice little warm up before you do 360s as well. We're going to drop one arm and we're just going to do a tricep stretch. Tricep stretch here. Now we're going to reach back and give it a pull. Squeeze your glutes. And switch hands. First hang. Reach back. And pull. We're going to drop it here and then pick it up again. We're not going to pull over. Okay, secondly, we're going to get into the pendulum. So again, rack position, point the top finger, left shoulder for me. I'm going to slide it down and then I'm just going to start using my hips to get this mace moving. Maybe at five and seven, and you can get to four and eight on the clock. So something like this. And we'll just do a few, maybe 10. Now, getting the momentum by rotating the torso 
more so than just moving the hands. It's a torso rotation. Rotate those shoulders. Okay, come to a stop. Reach back and drop it down. So that is the pendulum. So the homework is to work on ballistic curls. I want you to do three sets of 10. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, all the way up to 10. So you have 10 of those. From there, take a quick shake. You're going to go into your hinge. One, and catch. One, and catch. One, and catch, two, and three, catch, three, catch, four, catch, four. Okay, so you have 10 total of those, so five and five. And then right from there, you're going to go into your pendulum. Five and five. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, and five. Okay, so that's your homework. Ballistic curls, uh, hinge, swing catch, and pendulums. We'll get into the steps and all that next time. Bye-bye.